for 300 and took an offer for 250. My best profit on an item so far. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can buy low and flip for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So come on over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and share your best Bolo. This will be under the announcements featured section for whatever month we are in. It will be posted up there and you guys can share your Bolo Shout out your social media, YouTube, whatnot, selling platforms in the post, and I'll share it in the video. Let's get started here with the first one. It is Peter Millar braided beige men's belt, size 32, genuine leather made in Italy. She said she bought it at the Goodwill for two and someone messaged her right away about it, but said was not the right color. So about a week later, woke up to an offer of 40 and... She added more pictures in the comments. So she sold it for 40 bucks. All right, there it is. It's a belt. It's a belt. The next one is a time clock. Um, Amano PIX 55 electronic atomic employee. 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 Employee punch time clock machine complete. New in the box. Uh, paid $42.51 online with shipping, sold in less than a month for $219.41 all in, shipping back out to Cali, almost $30 of that. So paid $42 for it, so they knew it was a bolo. The next item, I pick up almost anything strawberry and have a hard time, um, hard time to sell them, but really have no use for it. <laughs> So she might, she likes strawberries paid five at an estate sale, sat in my money pile for over a month, sold in less than a month for full price of one twenty fifty nine all in. It's very pretty. If you want to flip through the images, it's a tablecloth guys. How dainty and fun is that strawberry tablecloth? There it is sold for a hundred bucks. The next item. Okay. Everyone should know that Vintage Juicy is a bolo. Paid 10 at the Goodwill, all in for the buyer at 101.25. I'm sharing because of the interaction after she got the bag. I thought she was going to return it, claiming the clasp didn't work. Nope, she literally couldn't work it. I didn't think that the push in button wouldn't make sense to those born outside the time period. Once I explained, she was tickled pink with the bag. So she didn't know how to work the latch. I don't know if I would know how to work the latch. Oh, look, huh? It's got a little, little story on it there. Now I want to know how to work it. So I guess if you have one of these, include a video under the video option, right? Okay, sold it for 80 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, vintage um, flatware, Franciscan Desert Rose Stainless Flatware, 20 pieces. Look how stinking cute that is, guys. Retired January 20 of 23. I love to browse through thrift and antique stores, but what to do with all the treasures? A few months ago, she said her husband suggested eBay. It's been fun. I found this Franciscan Desert Rose Flatware at the Goodwill for $14.99, 36 pieces. I was able to make four place settings of five pieces each Enlisted it on eBay for 300 and took an offer for 250 My best profit on an item so far. I don't have a store, but my eBay seller page is Sharon K113. I have 16 pieces of this flatware listed individually. There you go. Well, it sounds like you're off to a great start. Um, parting it out and knowing how to, how to do all that. There you go, guys. How cute is that? Would you have picked it up? The next item is this vintage uh, Knickerbocker Snoopy plaid satin trim baby security blanket. Lovey is a great word for the title. If you haven't seen my video on Lovey's, Bolo Buddies, Lovey and the title and your socks are going to be knocked off. She said, I found this at a local animal shelter thrift store. I paid $1.50 for it and sold it for $59.99. Little Snoopy. This is a Bible. Hold on a second. Here we go. Uh, in a NASB Holy Bible side column reference, genuine leather updated edition, new in the box. Doughboy treasures. 
Had this on my bookshelf since it was gifted to me back in 2000. Wasn't a translation I cared for. I've been having some su success selling old leather bound Bibles lately. And so I thought I'd look this one up. I was surprised at the comps. Had several likes and offers immediately. Took one closer to my asking price. So what did you, I don't know what he sold it for. Mm, maybe 150 range it says close to offer price. So, or asking price. Okay. The next one comes from piece of scrap on YouTube and Poshmark and eBay. This one sold on eBay. I paid four for this boy's sweatsuit at a thrift store and it sold for 52 shipped on eBay. It is a Keith Herring and H&M sweatsuit, youth child size eight sweatshirt, joggers, boys and girls. It's H&M guys. Check that out. That's crazy. I purchased this hip hook pain relief tool at Goodwill for $1.83. I noticed it because I have hip pain and I thought for a dollar I would try it. Well, after watching many Bolo Buddies episodes, I know to always check solds on everything I buy. Quickly, I realized I was going to have to sell this hip tool because it was definitely a Bolo. I listed at $185 plus shipping. The other interesting thing I want to mention is that based on the sticker, it had been on the Goodwill shelf uh, for over a week. It sold the same day for 100, 130 plus shipping. I could have gotten more, but the buyer contact, I'm sorry, buyer countered twice and then messaged me with praying hands to sell it to him. I guess I'm just a softy, but I had not yet had a sale for the day. I also only had less than $2 into it. I'm sad that I don't get to keep it, but I like money more. <laughs> but what if it would have fixed your hip? What if it would have fixed your hip? Uh, eBay store, Ruth and Ruby Rose, all lowercase. And Courtney, you know me as buyer, what not as Kat Bo Ferguson. I love your shows. Thank you for your hard work. You keep us educated and entertained at the same time. Oh, thank you so much. And you guys come over to what not and hang out with us. We have such a good time. And again, the referral links down below get $15 to shop. When you use that, you can use it with me or anyone. The necklace I'm wearing will be in a future show if you want to buy it. So, uh, come hang out. Doctor Who Dalek costume mask voice changer. It is a voice changer mask. Cosplay. Picked up at Savers for $5.99. Sold it in probably a little over a week for $144 on Mercari. Since we're talking about Mercari, no selling fees on Mercari. So this person got the entire $144. That's crazy, right? No selling fees. And if you uh, want to join Mercari, there is a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. And that gives me money to shop too. So I appreciate it when you guys use that link. Thank you so much. Second picture in the next comment. Okay, USAF officer aircraft plaque wooden with eagle bought this at the Goodwill for $4.99. Didn't know if it would sell or sell quick, but it sold in two months on eBay. Amethy underscore 4925 on eBay. Thank you for all you do. You're the best. Thank you for sharing. You're the best. You're all the best. You're all the bestest. -est. Yeah. Okay. It, I have been recording for, um, I'm not sure how many hours now. So we're just going to say that bestest is a word and she sold it for 45 bucks guys. $45. Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn on Poshmark. So I just want to bring to your attention that yes, you can sell breakables on Poshmark, but they do make you like agree that you are selling a breakable. So make sure you package it well. Ray Dunn, three part lemon uh, tray, lemon, lime, and orange. Bought at the Goodwill for $3.99, sold for $20 on Poshmark super fast. So it's not that it's big money, it only sold for $20, but it sold super fast. So a bolo can also be something that sells fast in my opinion. And she may have undersold it. I don't know. Did you look up comps? I'm guessing she probably did, but uh, that's pretty cool for 20 bucks. And I've never seen that one. Second picture. Okay. And some Ray Dunn, you guys definitely look it up because some Ray, Bu Ray Bun, Ray Dunn goes for crazy money. Poshmark is Mary Piat. All right. Bought this at the bins for $1.89, probably about a dollar in it. Been listed for several months, sold on best offer for 85 plus shipping. Credit to Rebel, the reseller, for mentioning this brand in one of her videos. Yes, if you guys are not following the Rebel reseller, she is fabulous. This is a vintage PJ Sparkles Sparklins pink bunny rabbit glow in the dark plush Mattel stars. 
$1.89 into 85. Awesome pickup. The last one here is from Edge City Traders. Studio art, pottery vases, signed vintage wheel, hand-painted blue lavender fish. Okay. I picked up these three pieces of art pottery at different times and places. My total cost of goods was $9.50 individually. The vases would sell for about eight each. I thought they looked good together, so I photographed and listed them together. They sold in two days for my full asking price of $23.87. That's not a big profit, but they moved quickly, and I only had to pack one box. Um, so I'm looking at that like I'm not packing that. That would take me like three hours to pack for a $10 <laughs> return. No way, Edge City Traders. You're crazy, girl. You're crazy. Um, that's crazy. They do look good together and you did sell it fast. So it is a good teaching moment, but I think I'd have to at least get a hundred. <laughs> I'd have to get a hundred to ship breakables. Oh my goodness. That looks like no fun, but you're probably a fast shipper. So anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Link tree down below. Bolo buddies, uh, that'll take you over to the Facebook group. Share your bolo. Shout out your platforms. Get noticed for your bolos. Um, I'm tired. I got two more videos. Two more videos tonight, and then I'm calling it a night again. Check out the referrals and affiliates down below. So um, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody that shared. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.